got benchmark videos for you guys waiting uh, once I show you all what's inside the package. Let's get back to the unboxing. It comes in a nice slick black box. Now it's time to take out the video card and see what kind of condition it is at this moment. Alright, so here is the card and as you can see it looks almost brand spanking new. Um, this particular card that they had provided me with was actually used. But uh, let's go ahead and slap it inside my desktop computer and see how well it runs with Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. By the way, I thought I should show you all a comparison video. Um, this is my previous setup in the upper left hand corner i7 4790K, 32GB of RAM, DDR3 RAM, and an MSI GTX 770. As you can tell, sound has been disabled for this recording. I am using a dual PC streaming setup and on my second PC I am using the Aver Media capture card, the Aver Media C985 to be precise. It's an internal capture card that plugs into a PCI slot. Unfortunately I don't have the correct audio setup and that will require a mixer to be purchased and so you guys can also expect me to... Uh, make an unboxing video for such a mixer in the near future. I'll try to make it as simple and concise as possible. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, I'm using Fraps to give us a frame rate benchmark. Please note that I'm playing on ultra settings right now under my old setup, and this is not entirely practical. Unless maybe you're running an SLI setup. So here you can see I'm screwing around in an indoor environment. I'm getting somewhere in the range of 20 frames per second. Um, I think now would be a good time to go ahead and just cut the video and skip to the GTX 1070 demonstration on Ultra Specs. Again, for demonstration purposes, everything is set to Ultra. This isn't how I usually play. Here we are once again with a landing sequence underway. You can see we are floating at around, mm, typically around 60 plus frames per second. And now we're just going to fast forward a little bit to when we're on the ground. So here we are once again. I really don't consider this part of the map to be the end all be all uh, standard if you will in frame rate. But uh, as you can see we're at the roof of one of the barracks and we're getting around 40-50 frames if I'm looking at this correctly. Just a little bit over 60. Not too bad for this point in time. Now we are about to check out an indoor environment on the GTX 1070. Here we go, and it looks like we're staying steadily above 60 frames per second. Now, one thing that you have to remember is that this is at maxed in-game settings, everything except for screen scale, that is to say. So right now, everything is looking decent, and this is with zero optimization hikes as well to the local files. Some final thoughts regarding this video card. It costs about 400 US dollars, which is about the same price tag as my previous video card, the GTX 770. Um, that being said, the previous video card lasted me for about three years, and I can't really cite too much more in the way of specifics regarding the GeForce GTX 1070. That is to say, I'm not A plus certified, I can't give you a bunch of technical mumbo jumbo about what makes this card so great. What I can tell you is, I'm a stubborn gamer. I usually only play one game all day, day in, day out. But what I can tell you is that I was also able to run Overwatch at a constant and consistent 60 frames per second and above with maxed out settings. And if you were to take it to lowest settings in Overwatch, I don't see why it wouldn't be able to run at a solid 60 frames per second. Anywho, if you guys have any games that you want to see me, I would be more than happy to help you all benchmark whatever game you want me to play using this video card. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, maybe drop me a subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. I will do my best to give you guys some more unboxing videos with all of Asia's greatest tech in the near future. And once this channel gets up to speed, I'm hoping to make three videos weekly. 
That's it from me. I'll see you guys next time.